So, welcome to this next learners video. Um, and yeah, let's hopefully just get straight into it. And let's just see what's going to go on. Um, apologies for the bad in, uh, beginning and stuff like that. I don't really care about that. You're here to learn how to next. So, uh, what is next? Obviously, next is a boss. Uh, if you've never been um, and you want to look at getting into it. Uh, it's definitely something that's worthwhile doing. And uh, if you don't know where to find it, um, you can find it in the ancient prison, which is located uh, through the frozen doors in the God Wars dungeon. You will need yourself a frozen key, and you will need 70 uh, agility, uh, or sorry, 60 agility and strength as well to get in. And then I believe it's actually 70 uh, to get into the Sardomen encampment, unless they've changed it. So go do keep that in mind. So what um, is next? Well, she is uh, one of the most difficult solo bosses, uh, certainly for a beginner, um, but uh, aside from that, you know, she's very fun, so she's very good for money, and one of the best drop bosses you can kill either in a group or on your own for money, and you know, once you learn how to solo, um, the first time you ever get your official first solo without any help from anyone, you know, whether you use a yak, whether you sign, whether you barricade four or five times, seven, eight times in the kill, doesn't really matter, whatever you get as your first drop, once you get your first official solo down, the confidence it gives you in terms of killing it again and wanting to you know push yourself harder and you know eventually moving up into things like the hills and maybe using reckless or other sorts of things uh, you know it's a really good thing to try and aim for so obviously the main drops uh, well the best drops you can get anything like Torva, Pernix or Virtus you know and then obviously the pet and then you've got the ancient emblem uh, there's no point trying to kill Nex and going for um, the pet or going for those drops when you're trying to solo like when you're trying to learn focus more on getting the kill down focus it on by phase by phase and that's what I'll be taking Taking you people through. Uh, we'll obviously be going through each phase individually so you can get an idea for what to do, what to use, what prayers, what um, abilities to use. Now for anyone that is experienced next watching this, uh, you know obviously do do be fair, do be lenient. Uh, everyone has a different way of doing it and that is one of the most important things you must remember. If you're going to start next and you're going to build up a rotation, if you've learned or if you've been taught to do something a different way, you know, if you find a way that when you're soloing works best for you, but when you're during works best in terms of the kill potential, then by all means, do do that, okay? There's no point at all trying to, you know, optimize what other people want you to do when that might not be what works for you best. So, for example, if you decide to onslaught on blood phase, which uh, does happen, I used to do it myself, you know, in fact, actually, myself, when I used to use ascensions, I used to death swiftness, I had the natural instinct, death swiftness, build up to an unload just to be able to get next down to 80k because that's the sort of thing I used to be able to have to do. So, you know, and that worked for me. And then as I adapted and got onslaught and stuff like that, I used to onslaught, and now as I've adapted and changed again, I start to death swiftness and do other things. Obviously you have to remember this, there's never going to be one single way to get next down on a certain phase, there's always going to be, all you have to do is damage her 40k HP, once you've done 40k HP per phase she will then skip on to the next one, excluding for Zaros obviously where she has to, you have to do 80k damage and she's got higher defense and everything else, but we'll get on to that later on. The main things you want to remember is that obviously do take it easy, you know, don't exhaust yourself at this, because once you exhaust yourself from a boss, it's not fun, and you literally just feel like you're killing it for the sake of it. If you do die, which, you know, you may do, you know, don't worry about it, okay? It doesn't matter, it's not the end of the world, it doesn't mean to say you can't do it. Keep trying, try, try, try again. I remember I got my next pet on my 12th official solo, I was over the fucking moon, I couldn't believe it. But the point is... Why did I get it? And how did I do it? Because I died, you know, 50, 60 times beforehand trying to get a damn kill, but it was bloody well worth it, you know. I got a drink green dragon hide and a blood soaked feather. I didn't know what it was at first, and then I suddenly it clicked, and then, because I realised my entire clan was flaming me, but, you know, that's not the point. Point is, I got it, I tried, and I still love next, you know, I still do it, I, I, I duo daily, you know, I solo daily, it's whatever I do, you know, it's not the only boss I do, I can do other things. But anyway, moving on. Uh, we're going to get straight into, obviously, gear setups and stuff like that, and, you know, just hopefully yeah, you guys can get an idea for what is best to use.